I was commissioned to paint a saw. So here it is. Great big five foot six inch saw. Now I've never painted a saw before, but I did my research and now I'll walk you through what I'm doing. Okay, I've got the saw here on the floor of my basement, right next to the pit drain. So, so far I have sanded it down and scraped off all the chunks off of it. And it's still kind of rusty as you can see. So, I'm gonna take some of this stuff, crud cutter, the most for rust, and try and get rid of this rust so that I've got a nice clean surface to work with. In order to put the de-rustifying stuff on, you first have to make sure there aren't any oils. So I have here my diluted lacquer thinner that I'm going to apply. And for safety, I've got a window open, I've got a fan on, I've got a mask, and I've got my nifty gloves. So, let's go. five to ten minutes. So meantime, I'm gonna go do something productive. I just finished with the de-rustifying process. I think I made that word up. So this is what it looks like now. Ooh, it's smooth too. It's much better than it was before. It's still a little wonky colored, but nothing we can do about that. Today I'm going to be sanding and priming. And then I'm gonna let it sit for about seven hours before I start actually painting on it. So here we go, this is gonna be fun, sort of. I've got my, my little handheld sander thingy that my dad let me borrow. So I've never used it before, so excuse my best ignorance about this. <laughs> The time has come for priming. So what I did is I have my sheet, or actually it's a garbage bag laid down here. Got my heater going so that it's proper temperature. I think it's still a little cold, but it's fine. I covered the wooden parts with plastic bags and tape. So I'm ready to start spraying. This is what I'm using right here. It's a self-etching primer because the acid in the self-etching primer just clings to the metal better, so it should have a pretty good stay. Okay, I've got my uh, self-etching primer on there and it's all dry and ready to go. So now I'm gonna do a layer of black sandable primer um, to get the color and texture that I want for this thing. I've been working on my design for the last few days, but I'm finally ready to get back at the saw itself. So today we are going to be sanding. So I have a very fine grit sand here. And 
now that I've got my saw sanded and wiped down, um, I, it's time for me to start adding my design. So I have my ruler here, and I got this um, pencil that works on metal at the artist store. So I'm going to start putting my grid down so that I can get my whole design exactly where I want it. I have my grid on here now. So now I can start putting my design on since I know where everything is going to go. I made this um, sketch layout type thing. Basically I took measurements of the saw and figured out where everything would go on each square inch. I have my design on here now, so the next thing I'm going to do is get my acrylics out and start painting. Step one of the painting process is done. I have all of the buildings and the sheep blocked in. So you can see here, I've got all of them in there. So now it is time to get the details done.
after weeks of painting and detailing, I'm finally ready with this painting, well, the series of paintings, to start on the faux rust finish that I'm going to be doing on the rest of the exposed saw. So I'm going to start that today and I've got my resin sand to give it some texture and I've got my big old paintbrush, my palette knives, my toothbrush, and I don't really know what I'm doing but I guess we'll figure it out. I'm just going to test it out on this little area over here so that I know I'm not going to destroy the whole thing I've worked on for weeks. So I'm going to use this little area and see how my rust turns out. must be getting tired because I just dipped my paintbrush in my hot cocoa instead of in my water. <laughs> I don't think cocoa counts in the mixed medium category. Don't think you're supposed to mix that with acrylics. Maybe I need a nap. yesterday I finished with uh, the rusting and blending the pictures into the rust so that they kind of mesh a little bit better with the rust and here is what that looks like if I can get it to focus I mean, it really looks rusty which is super cool so I didn't know exactly how that would turn out but it looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to, today, do a final detail. I have finally reached the last stage of the process. Um, I, I finished detailing the other day and now it's all dry and I'm going to apply my matte varnish. And I just got this Liquitex professional matte varnish. So I took the, the matte varnish and I put two coats on it. I put the first one on and then I waited about three hours and I put the second one on. I just did that just now so I'm going to give it another three hours to dry. I'm not going to do a third coat, you only need two. Um, and the matte varnish ended up looking really cool. So here it is. You can see there's not too terribly much shine on it which is good for this rust effect I was going for. So here it is, the finished saw. My client's going to come by tomorrow to pick it up and that's all she wrote. So I'm done. Yay! <laughs>